Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Rob Galanakis. I'm currently a senior tools programmer at Bioware Austin. And uh, you just were on a panel yesterday about uh, training technical artists, correct? I was. I was on a panel with about eight other TAs from across the industry, and we spoke about um, challenges facing technical artists, how to train good technical artists, speaking to educators as well as uh, students in college about what you should be doing in school, where you should be looking for a job, what skills you should be training, so things like that. All right. Nobody who watched this video or watching this video was able to go to your session, or maybe they were. So give me a summary. Top three and unique answers, not the ones that I've heard all the time before, but top three things I need to know or be ready for training or as a technical artist. Uh, you need to understand content development. You, you don't necessarily need a background in art, but you do need to enjoy working with artists and designers, and you need technical abilities is the second thing. So first is passion for content. You're not going to be programming game systems. You have to be con you have to be understanding of the fact that nothing you do is going to end up in the game. Second is you need What does that mean? Nothing I do is going to be in the game? Go go through that. Right. So I'm building tools, which means everything I do is so other people can work more effectively and make much more kick-ass content in a much more collaborative and iterative manner. But nothing I actually make is going to be in the game. I won't ever be able to play the old republic and say, I did that. You know, uh, and that's just the fact of life for tools programming, which is why uh, so many people do it ineffectively, because they really want to be making content, or they really want to be working on game systems. But to be a really effective tools programmer, you have to understand that at the apex of your profession, you will still not do anything that you can go home to mom and grandma and say, hey, I did that. Look at look at what I actually do at work. Still haven't figured out how to explain that to my parents, so. Okay, so what was the second thing? Second thing is you need programming ability. Uh, to be a technical artist, you are essentially a tools programmer that works for the art team, or is how I define it. So you can't just be writing shaders, you can't just be creating rigs, you really have to be uh, really good at pick a language, pick two or three languages preferably, and understand how to write Python or understand how to write C-sharp. Don't just limit yourself with Mac script or Mel or, or whatever the packages give you. You really have to start investigating uh, real programming practices and, and treat yourself like a real programmer. Uh, that would, I think, is the second most important thing to communicate to developing TAs and students. And the last item? The last item would be more focused towards the cultural aspect of it. In my talk yesterday, I talked about what I defined as a great TA. And I said a great TA is not defined by the shaders he builds or the rigs he constructs. He's defined by the cultural impact he can make at a studio. He or she can make at their studio. So give me an example of that. How, how can a technical artist create a cultural impact? Technical art is still a pretty, it's still in its infancy in the industry. It's only been around as a job title for five years. There have been tech artists for like 10 years, but it's still really new. So what we find, and part of why we had the panel, was there are a lot of studios that still haven't figured out, we need tech artists. And you need, you can get a job as an artist or a tools programmer, but you really have to be the one to change the studio culture and convince management and just step up and do the work and do it like a really good tech artist would uh, to change the studio culture and, and make the people above you understand the value in what you do, not just the value in you. Everyone's gonna love you if you're building tools, but not everyone will understand your value. And you need people to understand your value so you can build a team that will build tools effectively. One person's just not enough in today's game world. You need to understand the culture of your studio. You sit between engineering and art teams which means you are sort of, and design teams to some extent, which means you are sort of the communication bridge between departments, and you're in a very powerful position, and you need to exercise that position to take care of the cultural impact you can do in addition to just being a kick-ass developer. Technical artists sort of by definition need to be leaders as well, so that I would say that's the third skill.